Welcome. Is it recording? Yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is episode 66. We are here at Evan's beautiful house, as always. It's a pristine day. The scene just changes depending on the weather, and we've been blessed, mate. Look at the water's just... I know the outline of your pool is blue, but that water that water's just crystal clear, mate. It's, it's, it's a, a bit, nice tinge The pool's of blue. a bit dirty right now. No, no. Oh, okay. I was only looking there. And that part is really, <laughs> really clean. That part, a little bit, yeah. Could Mate, do I tell you, give it, a, give it a couple more weeks. Dad's already doing the fucking yard work. You guys can probably see the hedge. Woke me up this morning. Maybe not. You got a lime tree in the back. And probably, I'd say, peak Nelk Boys. Well, it's peak Nelk Boys right now, but peak when we first started watching Nelk Boys. It was all about Rona season. And you've got a, you've got a lime tree over there. And a lemon tree, to be honest, as well. Yeah, lime and lemon. And, um... Having that, you know, that plant right there just to go over, crack open a roni in a beautiful summer's day and just cut, start cutting the limes up. Fuck, it's good. Yes. You know, we asked for a third co-host and a, and a filmer, but I reckon we should get a lime bitch. <laughs> we can just fucking just start cutting out limes. No, she can be the... Like, oh, it could be a guy or a girl. Like, she'd be like next to you or something right now. And I'd just say, oi. And she'll know exactly what that means. And, or he. Yeah. Relax, like, it's not a feminist for thing. For anyone who's seen Entourage, um, what's his name? Fuck knows. You do know the gay uh, Yeah, I know the gay. I know what you're talking about. I don't what's know. What's his name? Uh, it's Ari- it starts with the L. Lloyd! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ari and Lloyd. Those Fuck. two are my favourite. Lloyd! Um, yeah, I, I want a Lloyd for, out for PNC. Same, lines. gay assistant. A gay assistant one. who can... You know, who's not, who's not afraid to speak their mind and... And take some and abuse. And yeah. take some abuse. Um, so yeah, if you're a Lloyd out there and you've seen Entourage, Lloyd. it's up, we're going to cut some limes, blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, it is a beautiful day. I've woken up with a bit of a sore throat, bit of fucking panadol on your friend fucking, that'll do the job. So we're here, we've got legs today as well, beautiful day. I've just bought some straps, so I'm excited to do some RDLs. It's usually my most hated exercise. That's the most favourite, bro, when you have straps, bro, it's when, different. When you don't realise, like, yeah. you did last week. 25 kilos, or like, no, I think I grabbed 25s or 30s, no, and I you grabbed, grabbed 25s, 25s. Yeah, and you grabbed 30s. I, unfortunately, I had one strap missing, yeah. but I was like, I was like, no, nah, wait till you do RDLs said, with straps, and you'll realize like how light 25 feels because you're not really like holding the weight. Yeah. It's like, it's actually because if you think about how um, just on hamstring curls or something, right? Mm. And you're pulling in like 50, 60 kilos with your hamstring curls. Yeah. So, like, an RDL, obviously, you're going to be able to move even more weight than a fucking ham, a, a completely isolated hamstring movement. It's like you can move like pretty crazy weight. Like you could probably get away with like 35s for eight reps, to be honest. Yeah, when I put that first one on, I was like, holy fuck. It feels like I'm holding nothing. Yeah, you did. Like it's just holding onto your <coughs> wrist. Eh? It's, yeah. It's weird. No, it's nice. I actually want to do the lying down hamstring curl. I haven't done it in a while. I'd change it I always up do the fucking it's sitting free. one and it just kills my glute, bro. Fucking always cramp in there, cunt. Um, but no, beautiful day. How's your week been, mate? Uh, yeah, it's been a it's, fuck. It's actually been a busy week. Monday, uni assignment. Tuesday, Wednesday, work. Yuck. No. Yes. Wait. <laughs> che- no, no. Tuesday, uni all day. Wednesday, Thursday, work. Yeah. I was like, I didn't work three days. Um, and then yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say you never fucking worked three days, mate. Recently. Yeah. I don't fucking blame you. And then yesterday I did a uni like well tried fucking hour procrastinate yesterday. I did five hours at uni. I did an introduction. What <laughs> after you came home? I just did yeah, till like nine thirty, bro. I just, you did one introduction. I just, yeah. Oh my About god. About two hundred words, mate. So what's your weekend looking like then? Uh, I'll fucking I'll bang out the rest of it on like Sunday Monday. When's it due Monday? Like Monday night, Tuesday morning or something. <laughs> one of those days. So I got plenty of time, but yeah. <laughs> That's uh, don't you hate yourself right now? No, nah, I feel alright. No, but like last night, you should surely you were like this all could have been done. Ah, uh, because you did I so like, well. I feel like I've done a good start, you know. You did so well to um to finish your other assignment a week a week ahead. Yeah, no, nah, we're right. Yeah, I think okay. we're making good time. Yeah, okay. Um, I actually in my uni class this week, we were like debating type of thing. Have you ever done a debate? Yeah. It wasn't a full-on debate. It was actually a negotiation. I was a union in a group of four. 
and you were a company in a group of four. Yeah. We got given information and we I had to like try and get better pay for my workers and more um and more like fucking like better kitchen, better mental health services, blah blah blah. And you had to try and get the best deal for yourself. We got a piece of paper of information saying blah blah blah. You got that, blah blah blah. We didn't know what either of us had. Were you researching or were they just giving <laughs> No, no, no. We literally got a piece of paper with like four dot points telling us information of like what what we had in our back, like what we had to, what leg we had to stand on, what they had, blah, blah, blah. We go at each other. I've come to terms with the fact that, I mean, they were set up to, to succeed. We were set up to fail based off of the information that we got. So there's no way that we could win that deal. But these little cunts have the most condescending, cocky little cunts I've ever seen in my life. You know when you've got the upper hand and you know that you're that you can't lose in an argument yeah. or a debate or whatever it is, and so you're you kind of like smiling and being an absolute cunt. I was basically saying we want twenty five dollars an hour for our workers and better mental health services, and they were like, "We'll give you eighteen in a microwave." And mate, it the the bloke that said this was the biggest loser I've ever seen in my life. I've never wanted to stand up and deck a cunt so much more in my <laughs> life, bro. <laughs> so you need to make me relax. No, nah, no, I was getting so angry, bro, because I literally had, I had, I barely had a rebuttal because I had only this information to work with. And I'm like, all right, we'll give you a whiteboard and 1950. And I was not allowed to take less than 24. I've yeah. never been so angry, cunt. Imagine being um, Johnny Depp's lawyer, uh, not Johnny, uh, Amber Heard's lawyers, yeah. when you know you've got like no arguments and you're just getting shit on. I've always thought this, um, like lawyers especially, imagine having to defend like a murderer or a fucking psychopath who's killed, killed their own dad or something like that. You don't have like to. That. You can't no, ex- but like, not accept it. Imagine doing that, bro. Like, why would you? Money. Obviously the money. But like, imagine doing that. Yeah, but a lot of the times, like, you know you're not going to win. You're just trying to get the best deal possible for them. So yeah, but instead surely, of getting like, 20 years, they're getting 15. What a shame. You just got paid fucking 700K. Yeah, but like, you ever see like, there's this one TikTok where this African-American dad is like losing his absolute shit because this guy in court was smiling. The guy killed his son for oh, no yeah, reason. Fucked, yeah. And he's like losing his shit, bro. And it's so, so sad. And you're like, well, a lot of those, I saw that as a viewer and I'm like, I hope that cunt gets life and never gets out. A no lot of them don't even lawyer. get lawyers though. It's true. They get fucking like a little, they just get, they sh- can't afford it, blah, blah, blah. Even that, like, if if someone's like clear cut guilty, it's like there's no point in getting a lawyer. But no, but I've seen like plead, a sc- I've seen a school shooter before plead not guilty. And yeah, it's just dumb. Well, if they plead not guilty, then yeah, they're getting a lawyer. But if you're if you're like, yeah, like, did you king hit this cunt? Yes. That video that you sent Very me, I, I saw it before. I I hadn't seen the other two parts. Mm. Seen the first part. That was fucked up. But that guy was so like you could tell like so remorseful. Yeah, bro. Like I actually felt bad for him because like. Bro, the the video was a um it was a king hitting video or sort of, not king hit maybe it was a punch. it was a one on one interview between but you couldn't hear the other person but he was being asked questions and this guy um yeah but hit he, someone he, talking about his story it was like yeah his boy was just arguing one on one and then his mate just like the guy who was being interviewed just came in and like punched the guy um the guy ended up dying and so then obviously he was just like sitting there like he. He was like, yeah, like, I didn't mean to kill him, obviously, like, things like that. He went on a holiday, came back a month later, and cops were at his house, and he was going to jail. He didn't know the guy died. Um, moral of the story is, uh, don't get in fights, folks, and because uh, you, honestly, you ruin your whole life. It's, it's never worth it. One moment. Like, literally, one, like, that guy's made, like, a split-second decision, like, one second, sees the guy, cracks him, boom. Life done. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. And um, like everyone's had some sort of experience in their life where something's gone wrong and you just wish you could turn back time and not do whatever you did. Obviously, this was at a completely different scale because he's fucking, he's punched someone and taken someone's life. Yeah. Um, but in that sense, I do have some sympathy because you could genuinely tell that this guy was... Oh, he was fucking... No, it was no different, bro. To, distraught. It was you and I. Yeah. Like... Just wrong place, wrong time. Made a dumb decision under the influence. He's not just a regular shit kind of a human being. Yeah. Um. So that was pretty fucked to see. And 
you just can't imagine the guilt that you would live with. Oh, mate. I think, like, learning from hindsight, you know, and, I, like, to be honest, that respect to the dead guy's parents because, like, the fact that his mum was, like, oh, you know, like, old mate would want you to, like, he would want the best for you. Like, he'd want yeah. you to actually make something of your life. Like, blah, blah, how, how much of a big person do you have to bro, be to say that? If someone, like, murdered my mum, bro, I don't think I could fucking look him in the face without, like, wanting to kill him. Oh, 100%. Bro, I literally think about that, like, if that was like my brother or something like that, yeah. or if it was your brother or whatever, fucking, like you said, you couldn't be in the same room with the man. Nah, even if it was just like one of my friends was <coughs> the one that got King hit. Like. Yeah. My, yeah, I don't know. My, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'll say my cousin, he was on a night out, he told me last weekend and um, he was with like a bunch of people. So a group of his mates, his girlfriend's mates and then, a group of girls that are like his friends as well. Anyway, he's dancing with uh, a couple of girls and his friends. Um, and then these two random guys come up and they start like dancing real close to these girls. Not really saying too much. Tom, oh, fuck, I said it. No, it doesn't really matter. Tom said they look like absolute losers, these guys. Um, and he played odds on with his mate. So he was like, oh, odds on, you just go speak to these Donnies. And uh, Tom lost odds on. And what's it called? You know those, you know when you go up to a guy in a night out and you try and be like, oh, how's it going, mate? Like, what's going on? Try and be that type of chat. Tom went to go do that to this bloke, copped absolutely nothing. Zero. Like, didn't say a fucking word. Anyway, he was like, oh, all right. Fucking walked off. Went back to, anyway, end of the night, him and his mate come up to Tom and go, why the fuck are you laughing at my mate? And these guys, shorter than Tom, bro. No. And Tom's shorter than us. Yeah. And um, he's like, why the, fuck you, uh, why the fuck are you laughing at my mate, bro? He's like, don't know what the fuck you're talking about, mate. I'm not laughing at you, mate. Going blah, 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 back and forth, back and forth. And he touches Tom, like here. Yeah. And Tom's a bit of a hothead. Yeah, he of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. He's a bit of a hothead. He's, pretty, he's, pretty cal- he's a pretty calculated person. He's a very smart boy. But... When he sees red, he sees red. Yeah, it's just, it's like me as well. I'm yeah. like, like, like psycho. It, I, I mean, to be fair, once someone sees red, it's pretty hard to, to be stopped. He didn't fully see red, um, but he was like, mate, get my hand off. Get your hand off me. Otherwise, I promise you I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, um, and like, Tom's a big boy. Like, he's, yeah, he's a strong He's pretty boy. fucking strong. And you can tell just by looking at him that he's a strong boy. Um, and mix that with a bit of anger and uh, you've got a bit of a bad situation on your hands. Anyway, his mate broke it up and Tom was telling me this story because he was like, it's just bullshit, bro. When you know you can fuck someone up and someone's been an absolute cunt to you, yeah, you just can't do anything about it because bang, there's a criminal record. Yeah, bang, there's potentially a life that you've just And taken nine away. times out of 10, they like people that are like those kind of guys have absolutely nothing like they're a fucking bummy cunt tradie exactly who like doesn't give a fuck and by the time he's 35 we'll have a cooked back he'll be fucking 40 kilos overweight fat with his fucking wife he hates probably divorced with two children who yeah. are fucking starving because he can't afford to feed them yeah um no it's always as opposed the case, to tom bro. who's probably going to be you know mar- like at least some somewhat successful yeah in uh in life and it's like throw hands fuck up this cunt um you might feel good about your ego at the time, but at the end of the day, like you're throwing away a hundred percent of a successful life. These cunts are throwing away absolutely nothing. Yeah, they yeah. got they got the best <laughs> to lose. That's what I said to Tom. We literally both said at the same time. I was like, it's literally just never worth it. It is never worth it. So if you're ever in that situation, bite your tongue and just fucking walk away because you'll thank yourself the next day. Really, so many people say it, like like UFC fighters and things like that, like. Um, they're like, oh, have you ever had people fuck like mess with you in like in the clubs and stuff, and you just fuck them up? And he's like, nah. He's like, why? Why would I? Why would I risk? You 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 don't know the guy doesn't have a knife, or you don't know the guy, yeah. um, like I just said, has nothing to lose, and he's not willing to just absolutely king hit you and go to jail for twenty years. What if he doesn't give a fuck? So, the best the best form of fighting is walking away. Like if you have to walk six thousand kilometers to get away from a fight, like you're better off doing that than getting in one. I would rather be a coward and a, sh- and a soft cock yeah. than, um, than be six feet under myself or put someone else six feet under. Bro, after watching that video, I was like, if one of my mates is ever getting into like an altercation, like 
you best believe I'm just going to grab my mate and just like, we're just going to walk away. Yeah. I mean, because bro, like, that video of the guy being stabbed in the neck in Brisbane is forever imprinted in my brain. Yeah. That like, so fucked up. And that is possible, literally. That was in Australia. That's what I was saying. Like, you don't know. How do you know someone doesn't have a knife? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you're (laughs) fucking bleeding out 15 seconds. That's what I hate about our laws over here. America, in my opinion, is way too far forward. We are way too far behind. Yeah. For people who who take other people's lives, whether it's on accident or on purpose, if you fucking go to hit someone, if you go go to fucking stab someone, the majority of the cunts doing these crimes... Like you said, are fucking losers and never going to do anything with their life. So if they get a criminal charge, whoop de do. You get 10, 15 years, there's every chance they're going to fucking do it again, bro. Bro, King, the, you know, the, one of the biggest things, we talked about it on an earlier show, the king hitting, or I think, I think it's called one punch law now, because I looked into it. And for anyone who's in the other parts of Australia, it's different in each state. I had some guy fucking try to argue with me about uh, a law that I quite literally just Googled <laughs> um, and like read it in the fucking... The, the laws of Western Australia. Um, we have a one punch law here and it's a ma- you can't get more than 10 years. So if you king hit someone on a night out, you can't get more than 10 years, which is like insane to me. And most of the times you'll probably get seven and then uh, if you're good behavior, four, and then you'll be out after four or five years. That's like, you killed a guy. We have spoken about it before. <clears throat> if you're in a fight and you didn't throw the first punch, that's where I have a bit of remorse. Oh, yeah, of course. Different story. But there was a story where this little fucking cunt literally punched a security guard that was on his break and killed this man completely unprovoked from behind. Should never see the light of day. Yeah. If it was fucking my way, you'd be fucking being tortured, cunt. Oh, yeah, I'd just... It's fucking disgusting, bro. I, it, Death chair, bring it. Yeah, it pisses me off so much. Yeah, anyway, on a lighter note, because... <coughs> yeah, it's... I don't, how do we even get to, like, down that rabbit hole of fucking punching cunts? Um, I don't know. We're just fucked up people, man. <laughs> Bro, we, what, like, sparked that interest of, like, conversation? Well, I spoke about the night out, but then... No, that was after. Before that, it was... um. Oh, I saw the TikTok video. Yeah, but what was before? But then I saw um lawyers. It was about lawyers oh, protecting geez. someone. And that stem, that lawyer part stemmed from... Um, Defending someone. Yeah, that's what it was. The, no, it, that stemmed from fucking me at uni. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fighting for better pay. There you go. That's how you do a podcast, <laughs> folks. Jesus Christ. Um, to move on, I was sitting on the uh, toilet at work yesterday. And um, I'm quite a hygienic person. Some have called me a bit of a hypochondriac in the past. Others just call me a little fucking for doing this type of stuff can't say that word um, timestamp yeah. 20 minutes nah it's alright mate <laughs> literally can't say that word that's like the <laughs> one word you can't say um, anyway I always put toilet paper down when I poo in a public place do you? depends where it is depends yeah. where it is like if I'm shitting at fucking the footy yeah you best 100% yeah. if I'm shitting at fucking work no no, no. You don't do it at work. Nah, not not our toilet. In the other ones, yeah. Not, really? You're not out. Well, uh, the private one, ah, uh, I'm not really that that afraid of anyone. Well, that's the thing because every time I go to sit down on a toilet, I think of what might have been done here. Yeah, exactly. I've shit on a toilet seat before by accident. <laughs> yeah. There's a TikTok clip. Of yeah, that. and in a night and in a nightclub, I would put I'd put toilet paper. Down. I've pissed on a toilet seat by accident. Yeah, I do it all the time. Exactly. Or actually, probably every time. At I the one that you me. sit with your bare ass. Yeah, it's fine. And that's fine to you. Okay. Well, well the, to me, it's not fine. The thing is, like, what, like, what do you were you touching your ass before you eat dinner? Like, no, you're not. Hey. Like, why? Why <laughs> do you need your ass to be completely? Well, I'd like it to be cleaner. That's my point. It's just your cheeks. It's not like they're <coughs> dirty. It's not yeah. like there's running urine on there well i have this conversation with a lot of people um i've even made people change their ways and start to put toilet paper down on the toilet seat anyway while i was doing this i googled does toilet paper on a toilet seat actually help to which i found i came to this conclusion viruses are tiny they are able to pass through the relatively large holes in the covers paper However, you are highly unlikely to catch anything while sitting on a, t- a toilet seat. So, toilet paper does nothing. There you go, folks. Except give me the peace of mind that I'm going to be okay. I, I think I'm the smart one here. So, going forward, on a night out, 
if you need a shit at a nightclub, nah, will you be put in toilet? Yeah, paper of there? course. Of course. No, because because here's the thing, right? That that study. So if we're if you're talking about the work toilet, for example, mm-hmm. the worst that's really happened to that is someone might have pissed on it. And you urine's actually that. urine's. There's some sick fucking. Nah, no one's no one's shitting on that toilet seat. Like, what if someone spunked on it? Ah, that's fine. <laughs> it's just a bit of cum. Um. So in that sense, like it's different. But in a nightclub. You've got people who have probably like got chlamydia, fucking AIDS, fucking <laughs> you name it. They've probably got it. Um, and if they're like, if they've nutted on the toilet seat, like then I'm fucking worried. People fuck in the toilet seat. People shit on the toilet seat. People Whoa. fucking, <laughs> you know, all sorts. So in that sense, fucking oath, you best believe. Like I feel like it's going to stop the, the seeping through of semen onto my arse cheeks if I put toilet paper down. But okay. common little bacteria, <laughs> like, I don't know, like. I don't know what I the doubt f- you'll catch common cold from a fucking from a toilet. You know, seat. there's more bacteria under your fingernail than on a toilet seat, public yeah. toilet seat. Yeah, I don't. I actually need to cut my nails. It's one of my fucking worst um, attributes as a human. What? Regularly cutting my nails. I used to be so bad when I was growing up. I'm not too I've bad. I used to have a really bad habit. I used to bite the right. the the skin. What's of on? my fingers? Like that's weird. Like, can't see how that's like kind of peeling there. <coughs> Well, you, you gotta get your finger out of the way. Like a, then my Oh, yeah. Yeah, like that used to, all my fingers used to be just chowed up because I would sit there biting the actual skin. Why can't? Well, just to have, I don't know. I used to bite the um, inside of my gums a lot. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's odd. <laughs> like that. And then I used to have this like, it was low-key like a tick, bro. I, I'd always have to go like this, like, like stretch my neck. I'd always have to fucking do that, bro. And um, I went to a sleepover one time and my mum said to my friend's mum, make sure he doesn't do this. <laughs> I had to literally had to fucking... I think I cooked my neck one night sleeping. And um, Oh, I've got a really good stretch, by the way, for like your neck. Do you get tight in your neck and your shoulder? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. I always get tight. Bro, I, I said to I've Tom... I've been kind of stretching it though. I wake up and I'll like go for a shower and then I hold on to the top of the... Um, yeah, top of my shower. Yeah, I do that as well. And each shoulder will pop like three times. I'm worried about like real one time up. I'm going to fucking pull the whole shower screen down and yeah. just like yeah. <laughs> get cut up with glass and shit. <laughs> um, Tom, t- Tom told me to do this one. You put your right arm out and then you tilt your head the opposite way to which your arm is facing. So you'll feel that all through your shoulder and through your... You need to do it properly, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking slouch, slouch back. Yeah. You, you fucking go like this, mate. <laughs> right up, I get like tight in the back of my neck here. Back of your neck. Like these, these two glands here, and I like always, I just hit this stretch here. Like. I'm telling you, people, if you can invest in a massager, do it, bro. Whether it's a gun, I've got a foot massager that does my calves as well. A tie of the knees, lady. The best fucking yeah. Did you see Steve? So, oh. Man's getting a wristy in Bali Fuck With him. his hottest fuck misses He's literally getting a wristy Just for the fact that Like of the principle Of getting can. one Yeah It's like It's like he's not even It's not even cheating at that point Cause like Selena's probably coping the same thing But just two fingers Nah 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 No way Have some fucking class Steve doesn't have any so Yeah but Steve's Steve <laughs> bro That comes like chugged bottles Of fucking vodka It's true Should we do the Spotify playlist? Yeah we can I'm keen for this now by the way yeah, I'm super excited. The weather like this, can you hyped? <coughs> if you if you know anyone who can film for us, who's a good filmer, please let us know. Yeah. Um, because we're after a filmer. Um, do you want to get songs up, mate? I already know, mate. I'm ready to go. Fucking hell, you're quick with it, mate. All right, go. Um, we will go with. Oh no, I did love is easy last week, didn't I? We'll go with no more tears. Actually, mm, nah, nah, nah. All right, restart. Because I feel like people won't like it. It's just like, doof, doof. Doof, doof. Doof, doof. Ha! ta 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 We need to restart now. I need to go through. Oh, I'm going to go, <coughs> I hope this isn't in there. Peligro by Giggs and Dave. Because that's a tune. It's not in there. You beauty. Oh, it's tickling my mo. this. Oh, it's so good. Oh, that's so strange. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got one, mate? 
Uh, no. Nah. My second one is Hold the Line by Avicii Feet Arizona. It's a great song. Is it? It is a great song. I love how we make like the shit to small talk while we're trying to find songs. Because <laughs> like, you're trying to look through your Spotify, trying to find something that's cool, interesting, fun to listen to, ah, and you just it. can't. All I do is win, DJ Khaled. <laughs> and All I do is win. Yeah. This, oh, no. That sounds good. What is it? Unacceptable by Cordae. All right, that's in there. Wait. <coughs> that's the 119th track, mate. Boom! Clap um, sound. Oh, we need a prize. Anyone who's having a prize for listening out, joondal up ish ways, within 10 minutes of the festival, um, please let us know because uh, we can't get a party bus, which means I can't have prize. Or actually, if you have a party bus and you want to reroute your party bus to <laughs> my house and we can't, you guys can come here for prize. Let us know. His house is beautiful. It so. is fucking sick. And that way we can have like the decks and shit going for prees. It's true. But, yeah, let us know because we're going to end up screw, screw, be there at 12 o'clock, get on the piss, get to the festival, boom. Yeah, what time do you want to um, get Ooh. to listen out, bro? They haven't announced the, t- the, the lineup times yet. It really depends who's playing when. Because I reckon James Harp will be early and I'm going to be fucking in the mosh bit. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Because it, it, it can be a... Um, listen, that can be a very long day. You really need to be strategic about it. Uh, but then also, we're, um, we're filming, so... We've got to make a full review, don't we? That's also why we have... Well, that, that'll just be the voiceovers after. No way we're doing the fucking vlogging t- style during it. Uh, we'll, do, we'll do a little bit. I want to do a little bit at times. But, like, not nothing major, yeah. Man, hugging, L- like, a couple little check-ins. Uh, uh, this was our 12 o'clock check-in. Um, anyway, I was thinking about something... It was actually sparked by one of our friends, Jared Moore. I'll give you the credit, Jared. <coughs> what do you What do you reckon happens when F1 drivers need to sneeze mid-race? They just sneeze? But, bro, when I have to sneeze in the car, I get a little bit nervous, bro. Depending where I am on the road. So, I might have the pleasure of doing 50 kilometers an hour in the back street, and I can sneeze, close my fucking eyes for a couple of seconds, readjust, blah, blah, blah. Take one hand off the steering wheel if need be. These cunts don't have that option, Ev. They're also wearing a helmet. So, what, what? if it goes on the glass and shit of their fucking... Firstly... Their visor. They won't sneeze due to the fact that they're not getting pollen and things that make you sneeze. What if there's dust in there? There's, they have a fucking fully enclosed helmet on and body suits. What if there's dust in the helmet, Ev? There's not. But this is the point, Ev. If they have to sneeze, bro... I googled the quickest, uh, quickest like pace ever, high speed, three hundred and seventy-two and a half kilometers an hour. Yeah, they're going. They they going. By Valtteri Bottas in yeah, two thousand sixteen. They're going around corners at like one hundred and fifty, two hundred k's an hour. It's fucking rapid, bro. But and these cunts are constantly checking their mirrors. You, fucking you, you blah, do realize? You <laughs> you realize like F well F one drivers they don't actually really need to watch the road. They actually, they know the courses. By the by like, yeah. if you seriously think that F one drivers are 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 going onto a race course, and going a hundred mile an hour, full like like going how they race without knowing, without really having knowing. seen the course and like studied the course, like I reckon if you were to take an F one driver and they were to go at like say half speed, I reckon they would do a decent job eyes closed. You reckon? Yeah. They've got... Like, if they have people in their fucking ears too... Half speed. They're not used to going half speed. Yeah, but I'm talking like eyes closed the whole fucking race, bro. Mm. It's like rally drivers. They they know like... They're, they're going 300 k's an hour. They're like, all right, all right we've got to turn. Like, it's kind of like... It's a super things. fascinating sport and one I'm really glad that they have the Netflix series for. Plus, I'm pretty sure you can keep your eyes open when you sneeze. No, you can't. Yeah, you can. You can't. 100% you can't. Like, give me a fucking pull. You'll literally pop your fucking eyes out, bro. I've done it before, though. No, you haven't, Ev. You, for a split second, you close your eyes. Nah, it's 100%. like... Because you just do like... <laughs> like the... <laughs> that kind of like... I a, can never stop myself. You're like... <laughs> I've got a dad sneeze, bro. 
like a loud one. If you're like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're Australian, you, got, like, you can fight it. I can't fight it, bro. You know the, how some people go, chew. I just have a fuck to do. I that feel cunt. like that's that's bullshit sneezing. Yeah, it is, bro. Just like, let gir- it out, like you know when girls are like, ah, chew. I'm like, fuck off. Yeah. Like you know if you were to write a, someone sneezing in a book and you would how you would write that out like ah, chew. Ah, like that's true. how you would spell it. Yeah. These motherfuckers be having that in real life, bro. Yeah. Don't make the noise of how you would write a sneeze. My sneeze is like a yell. Mine's like, like sl- a, oh. mine's just like sloppy as shit, bro. Oh. Yeah, I can't create the noise right now, but yeah, it's fucking tragic. Achoo. My dad's actually scares me, bro. Same I'm, as my dad's. I'll be fucking. <laughs> my mum gets pissed off, bro. <laughs> we'll be what, like sitting in the living room. He'll just do it, and she'll fucking shit herself, and she's just like. Just shakes her head and my dad's like, I can't <laughs> fucking do anything, cunt. Like, what do you mean, bro? It's like, it's like, it's like those farts, like, girls all like, toot. Fuck off. If I'm flopping ass, it's fucking. And I'll go, <laughs> excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck off, bitch. Um, <laughs> so, someone said, and I really liked it, um, do your AFL finals predictions. Ooh. So do you want to do the whole thing or just round one? We'll do just round one. I think we'll do... Who do you think will win the flag? Or like, what do you think the grand final will be and who will win? I think it'll be a Geelong-Melbourne grand final. I think so too. I think Melbourne win. I think, yeah, I think Melbourne will win the two. Um, But I want Geelong. (coughs) But let's, I don't want either of them to win. Um, But let's just go through the first round of finals. So on Thursday night at the Gabba, it's Brisbane versus Richmond. Yeah, I think Richmond get that done. I back Richmond. Brisbane in some very poor form. Can't defend to save their lives. I don't think it'll be as convincing as people think. No, it'll be, it'll, it, won't, it won't be a smash, but I think Richmond will win. But I hope Richmond dick him. Just because Dane Zorko, you're a cunt. I fucking yeah, hate that what? little mid. I you're, hate him, bro. bro. You're a flog, eh? Imagine, <coughs> imagine saying like to a fucking guy whose mum's terminally ill, I hope, you, I hope your mum dies from cancer. Allegedly, like, yeah. Bro, he, he like... That's just outrageous. It's it's pretty fucking disgusting, and I think that that's up like there's all I'm all for sledging and shit like that in sport, but it's not really a sledge. Bro, bro. PlayStation chat, we abuse each other. There's nothing soft limits, and like, not like you you still wouldn't say. But if my mum was like dying that. of cancer and you told and you said that over the PlayStation chat, then it's a different. Story, but like, no it? no one would even say like that's what I'm that's saying. What, like we don't have a line, and like we still haven't ever crossed a line like that. Yeah, <laughs> no, one hundred percent. Um, okay, we move on to Friday night. Melbourne versus Sydney at the G. I think Melbourne win. Melbourne's best, I think, still the best. Yeah, I think Melbourne get that job done. But I could also see Sydney doing them. They did really? them three weeks ago. At the G, though? Yeah. It's a big call, Gary. Um, all right. <coughs> Saturday night, Geelong versus Collingwood. Oh, yeah. Geelong's fucking give Collingwood an absolute bath, I think. I hope Geelong get it done and I hope Collingwood get some injuries, mate. You know, I didn't know that they switched over. So, um, for the prelims, so I'm, so like these four, Geelong, Collingwood, Freo, Western Bulldogs are all on the, all on the one side. Yeah. The other four on the other side. I didn't know they switched over for the prelim. So say if we beat Bulldogs, then we beat Collingwood, I thought we we're going to verse Geelong in the prelim. No, nah, it always switches over. Switches over, yeah. Um, Okay, and then at Optus Stadium, I will be there. Fremantle versus Bulldogs. I back my boys to get it done. Yeah, I think Freo. Like, re- re- I can see Western Bulldogs winning just because, but Freo realistically should get that done. You guys beat them two weeks ago <coughs> pretty convincingly. Yeah, and this is the thing with all these fixtures. I could see every game going the other way. Like The only one that I'm genuinely like, I would... Oh, I put a money on a horse earlier. Fuck. <laughs> oh, uh, no, he's trying... The only one that I could see winning is, um, or like actually dicking them, is I can see Geelong giving Collingwood fucking absolute belting. Mate. Really? Yeah. Have they versed each other this year? I lost my money. Fuck. Uh, yeah, they have. Are you sure? Yeah. How did I lose this? What have you done, son? Did I get a bonus bet? You fuck. But he's checking his sports better count mid potty. Nah, I'm not happy, eh? That's fucked. Fucking. Mm. You fucking little nut. Dude, he came second. You're kidding. <coughs> Wait, I should have got a bonus bet. 
No, I didn't put them. <laughs> ah. You've seen Heartbreak live on the it's fucking right. I won some though. coin earlier, so I'm still up today. You lost punting last week as well, hey? On the Prem? <sighs> Mate, no, I won on the Prem. I fucking lost on the, the fucking footy. What, Carlton? Carlton cost me about 140 bucks, and then... What was the other game? Sydney needed to win by more than 17 points, and they won by 14. You fucking frauds. They were up as well, but like... They should have won, but they, they, they literally could have had top two if they actually pulled their finger out. Yeah, I forgot that they had old to play for. No, oh, they could have dropped out a top. <laughs> That's two time stamps now, one for each of us. That means I'm going to actually have to really listen to the show. Yeah. I never do, really. Like, <laughs> I normally just kind of skim it. Yeah, but if um, if Frio don't win, I will, uh, I'll be severely upset. I'll be severely upset. I, my... My hope is that we win at least one final. Yeah. Um, and then if, because uh, I assume Geelong will go through. Yeah, I give us a red hot crack at beating Collingwood. But then I think we bow out at the prelim. Because I'd expect Melbourne to be there in the prelim as well. I don't think we beat them at the G. But that's getting way too far ahead of myself because uh, finals is a scary time, mate. I'm just annoyed about for this a while. bullshit fucking pre-season, ah, uh, pre-season, pre-finals buy. Jog on. It's literally a waste. No, literally, every single AFL player that's been interviewed on shows <coughs> all hate it. it yeah. lit- firstly, it fucks the top four because, like, the whole point of finishing top four is that if you win your first final, then you get a week off. Yeah. And then also, it's like, what am I supposed to do now? Yeah. What, am, what am I doing this weekend? Yeah. Fucking watch the AFLW. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shocking fucking pathetic sport, mate. <laughs> yeah, well, look. As Bruv, f- first game, 36 to fucking 18, yeah. and they just expanded the competition. And All 18 teams, though. Yeah, so now, like, even AFL 360, they said, yeah, there's going to be some fucking dreadful games this year just due to the expansion. Yeah. The skill the skill level is not there yet. No, it's not. Um, but I suppose the only way you get, get it there is by playing these women. Because yeah, otherwise, like, they can't. Like, they can't play it enough at a higher level if they don't have an incentive to play. No, of course, but, like, it's like any sport, though. When esports first, like, when nature, esports and stuff like that, they weren't getting paid money. It was all passion. YouTubers, all passion. AFL, when AFL first started, none of those guys were getting paid. It was all passion. Yeah. It's like... You but I suppose they still had a job, though. Like, you can't really... Yeah, but no, they all worked. Normal right? jobs. Oh, yeah, true. They literally were working tradies and putting on the fucking short shorts and tight tight tank top and going each fucking McDonald's. killing each other in the fucking 1900s. <laughs> but um, as a Freo fan, I'm, I'm happy for the buy just because we've got th- our three toes all injured. Rory Love should be back. Griffin, Logan, Matt Tabana are still a doubt. So, yeah, it's going um, to be very interesting. I'm uh, I'm excited though. Haven't been here since 2016, mate. 2015. It's a nerve. It's it a was. nerve-wracking but exciting time. How mate. do you feel? Me? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait, bro. You can't wait. I'm winning so much money. <laughs> or lose. But no, nah, I love finals <laughs> footy. Finals footy is fucking elite. The stadiums are nine times out of ten like pretty packed. Um, well, ours sold out like almost instantly, bro. Yeah, of course it would. It's fucking hundred. Obviously, it would. It's um, yeah, sixty thousand will be there. And then I assume for the other ones, like the Gabba will be sold out. The MCG, I doubt it. There'll be like seventy, eighty thousand there though. Yeah. Collingwood Geelong, I'd say they'd get quite a bit there as well. Yeah, there'd be like eighty thousand. Um, but yeah. Fucking keen to see that. But like you said, a whole fucking week, bro. At least F one's back this week. I know, I can't wait. But it, I think it's like a nine o'clock race as well. Sunday nights are good, but it's like I, I need this on a Saturday night. Yeah. You know, like Premier League. That's the yeah, thing. this man you play on Saturday. Yes, sir. You um, got anything, mate? You yeah. Do a bit of talking, bro. My throat's sore. <laughs> we got some things sent. I'll get a spray. I'll get a spray for the boys. Yeah, I saw you spray before. Oh, I went to our post archives and arch- archives. Archives. And it was like the the one of the videos I can't show you. Oh, you know what we can talk about? The <laughs> fucking um censorship. Yeah. Andrew Tate getting completely banned, um, and we actually we actually spoke about this quite a lot last week, but not. Well, he wasn't banned yet. It wasn't Andy Tate. It was 
It was all about Steve and shit like that. So we can talk about it briefly. I can't believe that they have outright banned him. Well, did you see? Just due to... So he, he posted a response video. Tell you what, if you're an Andrew Tate hater, do me a favour and go and watch Andrew Tate's final message and then let me know what your thoughts are. Did you see Mike Malak's thing? He's, he pissed me off recently on Twitter. Did you see his Fucking thing little, f- mm, little loser, bro. On Twitter? Um, Is he just trying to like... He was so... Is he trying to remember get with he birds? posted that one? Yeah. Which we agreed with. And then he posted... Um, it's like he's got Lana Rhodes over his shoulder again saying, post this now. He said, like, if your small business or organisation gave people a chance to create content and represent your brand and one person spreading half or speech elevated to the top, would you protect your brand by removing their ability to, to promote on your program? Yeah, you want to know the, 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 the soon, you know where he lost me in that? When he said, small business. Yeah. Fucking retard. Oh my God. Oh. How, how, how dumb and delusional. Like, normally Mike has pretty good takes. You fucking idiot. Bro, who, your small business. I hate to break it to you, bro. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook are not small businesses. No. So sure, the, the small business would because <coughs> they have to. But if you're a big entity, you're bigger than, you basically run the world essentially. You have to abide by a different code of conduct. You can't just remove people because you disagree with their opinion. Tate wasn't throwing out hate speech. All the hate speech and stuff was kind of like, uh, it was all, all misrepresented. Like that woman, that woman who supposedly got beat. And then yeah. it was like the two chicks, the chick who came out, literally came out and said, oh, nah, like he's an angel. Like um, this was like a kinky sex thing. Another one of his friends, like a girl, she came out, she was like, Oh, one time I was on my way home and Andrew Tate, like, or Andrew called me an Uber, um, told the Uber driver, like, this is my wife, make sure she gets home, um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, if not, you have me to deal with and, like, things like that. And she was like, he's, like, the most gentle person with women, like, I've ever met in my whole life. I mean, forget about him solely. We posted a TikTok. What was about him? It was about him, but we didn't back him up. No. We didn't say we agreed with him. I actually disagree with a lot of the things that he we says. We said on that TikTok, we, a lot of the shit he says is so... Outrageous. Outrageous. Um, we simply said, is there a double standard with other um, creators. creators out there that people seem to love and, and uh, get Worship. behind? And um, yeah, the audio got muted within three minutes and I was gobsmacked. Yeah. I was genuinely gobsmacked. I said... Wow. I, I literally didn't know what to say. I was like, I can't believe that. Oh, I actually didn't even know we uploaded it. Sakamano messaged me. He goes, I just saw your new TikTok. Um, like, it's straight up facts. And I was like, oh, what TikTok? And then yeah. I went on it and it wasn't there. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, well, I deleted it because it was rendered useless. Because mm. um, the audio got fucking, yeah, got muted. And I'm just like, and people came firing at us for it, but. I think they just don't want to face facts, mate. Really, Un- uneducated. Um, they, a lot of people once society. they, a lot of people once they have an idea, once they have their belief, once they have their thought, they can't take a step back and, um, nope, and uh, have the ability to see things, be proven wrong. Yeah, and see things and from both sides. Yeah, exactly right. Like I can see why um, people don't like Andrew Tate. Yeah, but uh, and and you know what? Like, sure you hate him in the comments flood him with fuck you blah 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 that's what that's the price you pay of being that kind of a creator on a social media platform what i don't agree with is the fact that a big massive corporation that is sure it's privately owned but they should not be able to just completely get rid of someone off of their platform for having a differing opinion for example, when America pride themselves on free yeah, speech, yeah, your as whole well. thing is free speech. Like, like that's literally your First speech, Amendment right, yeah. or Second, whatever the fuck it is. Um, so I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of that. Like, you should be able to have any opinion. Uh, you need people like Andrew Tate having opinions like he has yeah, because he gets other- people using your app. Well, not not just that. If you don't have, 
differing opinions on things, how boring would the world be? If every single person thought the Nothing exact same way, oh my, we'd all be clones. Yeah. You need, you, I need to be like, um, I need to like West Coast Eagles. Mm. And I, you need to hate West Coast Eagles yeah, for true. that sport to be fun. If yeah. every single person liked one club, how boring. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, you can't... You, you need differing... It frustrates me when, um, when like, you say that you like Freo. I want you to hate Freo. No, I should, I should do like Freo. I, I want you to hate Freo, man. Because that makes me hate your club even more. <laughs> it's like, it's like um, our friend Dalton. He hates my um, football club that I support, Manchester United. And I hate Arsenal his football club yeah. and um, with that we get into heated heated arguments where we attack each other personally and it gets to the point where I want to smack him <laughs> and he w- probably wants to smack me and that's the beauty of sport and differing opinions we get to have those conversations facts if I'm all lovey-dovey with you and fucking oh you're a great person it's like politics you deserve the world fuck off imagine if every <laughs> single person loved Donald Trump like yeah. he was the hun- like okay Politics doesn't exist. Um, if every single person liked vegetables and didn't like fast food, well, fast food, you need things that like different things yeah. and have different views on things and different angles. And Obviously, there's levels to this. There's, there are levels to this. If there's Andrew Tate was saying scales, every guy right now go and bash the fuck out of women, different story. I'd be like, you know what? Probably remove Relax. this guy. Yeah. But, and you, I, you know, I know some people right now are like, he did! <laughs> he did say that! No, he the fucking f- didn't. Go and oh. listen to any of his long form shit. Stop watching the fucking 10 second That's TikTok. what he said. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Go watch his final message and you'll be like, wow. Hmm. Yeah, and um, the funny thing is, he's never posted any of this himself. Nah. He posts his long form content. He's, he's never posted. He's on other people's podcasts. He's never posted a 10 second clip of himself saying something outrageous. Yeah. It's always. Not always. A lot of it is taken out of context without the backstory. And unless you pull your finger out and choose to go and watch the whole video and actually, you know, take it all in. Do some research. Do some research for yourself. Read the terms and conditions. You've only got yourself to blame. Because, you know, you could probably... If I Googled... Um, who's, who's like... What's something that you could Google that you would find? Like... Oh... Oh, like Andrew Tate said, if I Google, the Earth is flat. You know, uh, there's a there, there's a. Well, I can guarantee you, I'll find an article that that will prove what I want to believe that the Earth is flat. Yeah. Even though it is clearly not. But yeah. like, if you want to believe something, you can find information that will benefit <laughs> you. So actually, I did it in uh, one of my uni classes. It's talking about like we're discussing algorithms and things like that. And the problem with algorithms is that if you're, when it comes to news, for example, if you are pro-abortion, right, all you're going to see it's gonna feed you it. is things that are pro-abortion and why you should be pro-abortion. And, and so your mind becomes even more skewed to pro-abortion. Whereas yeah. if you were anti-abortion, everyone's saying you're just getting fed anti-abortion, anti-abortion, why anti-abortion is great, anti-abortion, anti-abortion. All of a sudden you're thinking like, or how could anyone possibly be pro-abortion? Yeah. Until you Google why I should be pro-abortion or something, and then you're like, oh, wait, this conflicts this. Now I can make my own decision. That's like what everyone has to do. Stop jumping on bandwagons and fucking hate trains. You guys think hate's making... Uh, Tate's, Tate's a hater. You guys are all haters of Tate. Yeah. Death threats to his family and shit, bro. Disgusting. Um, we spoke about algorithms and stuff like that. Read this, mate. Read this to the public. Saw this yesterday. Am I about to read out something rage at no, 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 no. Please read. If you have an iPhone, listen up. After a recent iOS update, people can now find your exact location from Instagram. For example, if you put the location tag of Salt Lake City, it will show your exact location versus general location. There are alleged stalkers and criminals using this feature to find people and break into homes and cars. Go to your settings Instagram. Oh, yeah, I saw this. Is it right? Is it true? Yeah, bro. I went to settings and it's got precise location. You're kidding. It's automatically turned on. I turned it off. Oh, I sure. sent it to my brother. Fuck. Bro. Might have to do that. I thought it was like another one of those bullshit nah, things. Nah, bro. Crazy. Settings. So go to- it's real easy. Go to, go to your settings. Go to Instagram. Location. 
It's right there, precise location. Why have Instagram done that? Bro, it's pretty fucking terrifying. That's bad, yeah, because like, you can stalk any girl. Like, bro, I... Wow, I, that's wild. Yeah. I turned off um, Snap Maps the day that became a thing. Yeah, I've never had that on. I don't want people knowing where I am. Yeah. Like, people... People... Uh, some people like to say, like, oh, why have you turned your Snapchat off, Snap Maps off? What are you trying to hide? Like, fucking where I am. You fucking weird. If I want to hide anything... Like, whatever I want to hide. What do you yeah. mean, what am I trying to hide? Everything. Yeah. You need to know nothing. <laughs> like, you don't need to know where I am, what I'm doing, who I'm with. None of you, no one needs to know that, except for me and maybe my close friends and family. Did AFL just make an NFT? Probably. <laughs> what the what, fuck? What else? There was something else. <laughs> oh, um, no, there was something else that was going to go on with censorship. Oh, um... But, uh, what's his name? Just got banned off Twitch completely. Gideon, yeah. How? Like, you can't... What do you mean? Like, Gideon's not even that, like, crazy. I don't know what he said. So, correct me, correct us if we're wrong, but... Um. The, the, this is the thing, bro. They, they pick and choose who they want to ban for whatever fucking reason. And it's like, bro, I love Krennikov. I love what she's about. But Twitch is a gaming, streaming platform. And she does hot tub streams on there, half naked, doing like seductive things for the reasons to, you know. Money. Yeah. Aiden Ross tweeted, a girl got fucked on stream and only got a seven day ban. What the fuck, bro? It's free speed and Gideon. This shit is not right. So I don't know if speed got banned as well. But um, it's ridiculous, the fact that bro. speed and Gideon are, are perma banned, or I don't know about speed, but Gideon's perma banned. And this chick actually, like, literally was getting her cheeks clapped. There's a, you can see in the reflection, like, the, the window over there, her getting fucked. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, she getting just, I think he's eating her pussy in, like, doggy. Like, she's in doggy and he's just ah, getting in there. Um, and she got a week ban. One week. One week. Getting your pussy ate on stream. And, like, Gideon says, uh, oh, you know, fat chicks aren't, aren't fucking cute. And he gets completely perma-banned. Like, are you kidding me? I don't know what he actually said, but like, people getting banned for similar shit it's to ridiculous, that. Ridiculous, bro. No, it's, um, like you said, mate, it's a very scary time. Very scary. Censorship is. Oof. Yeah. Um, we've been going for fifty minutes, mate. Yeah, I guess the only other thing is like, if we want to do the the seg the segment. <laughs> do we have any of that? Some guy sent the DM. So remember the chick that got fucked in the disabled Macca's toilet? <laughs> yeah. He sent in uh, a message, um, okay. like explaining what it was. Yeah. Uh, which one was it? Okay, yeah, I think it's this one. Oh, I don't know if this is the macaroon, but sorry, it's a bit of a long one. Had work on a Saturday at five a.m. Went to a chick's house late on Friday, one or two in the morning, to fuck. Her whole family was still up, so she snuck out, and we fucked in the back seat of the Falcon cow in cowgirl. As I nutted, I had this shooting pain in my underside of my head of my cock had swollen so my foreskin couldn't return to normal. Worked the next day limping around with an ice pack on my dick. Went straight to pre's after work, showed the boys and they said I should go to a doctor when I'm... Mished on? I don't know what that... Mished on? What's that? I don't know. I haven't seen it. Oh. Um, went into town. As the night winded down, the swelling had reduced so-called... So I called a different chick to pick me up, sober, drive me back to my mate's flat so we could have a room. Task was successfully complete. In the, this is really hard to read. But he can't English. Yeah. Um. Anyway, that that wasn't even the Macca story. That's unfortunate. Did you see um <coughs> those the group of guys at like the TAV? No, bro. There's a group of guys at like a pub or a TAV, and it's like a end of season like no oh, that of was thing. the that was a um the footy it was a monday monday madness one bro that? his mate literally sucks his fucking flaccid cock in a pub <laughs> the boy sh boy showed me the video at um at work yesterday and i was like what the fuck cunt have you seen it <laughs> no i haven't seen it bro it's on facebook um just like a screenshot of it oh my god bro these uh, two group these two boys 
They've definitely been wanting to do that for quite some time. That's not a normal thing that you do when you're drunk. That's so funny, though. Like, too straight, man, I'm saying. Man's just flaccid cocked him. Bro, he's literally got it. And he's just like, Ugh. and I'm just like, what? Do you reckon if you were like, if you had to suck <laughs> dick, you reckon you'd be good at it? Mm, I don't know. I, I, I know. Th- you'd think you would be. I know I'd be so bad. I gag on my fucking toothbrush, man. Ah, uh, that's a fit. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Like I literally, if I have, I have to brush my tongue. Like, I can yeah. get the front part of my. T- as soon as I'm trying to get like, like even the mid part of my tongue, I'm like. <gasps> yeah. When the doctor puts that paddle pop stick on your tongue to press yeah. your tongue down, I fucking almost vomit on yeah, the Yeah. So I'd be, it'd be shocking. So respect yeah. to you, women out there. So that's I get. No, yeah. Good for you guys. Shove a snag it down your throat. <laughs> good for you. Anyway. PNT lads, it's been fun. Episode sixty. Can't wait to go through this and fucking bleep out the seven hundred bad words we said. Yeah. Um. If you know someone who's a filmer, editor, let us know. Having a praise for our listener. Yeah. If you're having a praise, if you got a party bus, if you want to do it here, let us know. Yes. <laughs>